This is a big show, as you can see. Now we're in a totally different hall. It's like a duplicate of the other hall, except it's all different stuff. And I don't even think I saw everything in the other hall. It's easy to kind of miss things. Here's the Ordophone people. There's the president of Ordophone over there. Oh, the A95 is now a heritage cartridge, and the Anna is a heritage cartridge. Interesting. And there's the Cadenza line and the MC Quintet line. What is your position, actually? Chief designer? Or? Yeah, R&D manager. Right, so answer, okay. He's yeah. the guy. He's the guy that's yeah. brought the, all the new technology to Ordofon's cartridges. That's what. Okay. So, what do we got here? Just so we have two uh, new SPU models. SPU number one S, of course, spherical. SPU number one E with elliptical. So uh, these are the. So they're the lowest priced SPUs that we ever had. So we are, we are really hoping to get some more people to understand the sound quality of these SPUs. They, they have very special musical sound quality. So, so, so we try to, 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 to lower the price to a point where more would be able to buy it. And we're talking about just the head shell part of it. We are, we are talking about the, the, the whole body and uh, so, so, so it's really made for, for universal uh, right. connectors. Talent, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a, it's, it's a basic uh, design that we use also for the other SPUs, for the classics, which are down here. But then we have uh, changed the stylus, and in fact we are using uh, tipped styli for these ones, in order to get the price a little bit low. low. But as the, opposed the, to what? A tipped to, in, to, in, as opposed to a naked stylus. Oh, I see. I see. So, 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 uh, so, and um, this is not a big problem for the SPUs. Because uh, normally you would use a naked diamond due to also moving mass, effective mass. But this is not so important for the SPUs. Especially for a, for a spherical stylus. That's where detail goes to die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but, but even if the detail goes to die, you get a lot of musical right, stuff out of right. it. So, so you really right. get the right feeling. I'm just being sarcastic. Yeah. You, know, I, you I, are allowed I, to do that. So, so I whole, know. It's a whole different sensibility that people have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's great about this whole hobby. All these sensibilities have a place. Yeah. And they're all of advocates that uh, I don't want all that detail. It's like not real, but it is, is real. But I, <laughs> sorry, I can't yeah. help myself. No, no, but but but, but I, I agree with you. So therefore we also named them number one. It could you could translate that to my first is PU I if you see. wanted to do that. But but basically is to show that this is a very good starting point if you want to use this kind and that's of. a spherical stylus, and this one is an elliptical. Yes, stylus. yes. And what are the prices? How much do these cost? So uh, the left one with the spherical is 545 euros oh. retail, and uh, the elliptical one 595 euros. It's very reasonable. Yes. So, yeah. so, so this is where we are hoping that it's a moving magnet. It's moving coil. A moving coil. Yeah. Like low output. It's low output, okay, yeah. All right. So, 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 so it's really low output moving coil as as most uh, of the SPUs. So you have all the dynamics that you normally would have in moving coil cartridges. Okay. So, so that's uh, as I said to you. I, I hope that maybe I thought we will try to give them a listen. Yeah. I think he would enjoy it. Well, you know, I really should listen to one of these too. I should stop my prejudice. I mean, I yeah. Have an arm so with you, you need to have a tone arm. And in fact, the tone arm, the left tone arm, where you have the SPU one number one S. This is a very suitable tone arm for this uh, this cartridge. It's, uh, it's uh, our TA110, which has some damping built into it. So, so, so it, it runs extremely good with this uh, number one and also all the other SPUs, of course, but this is this good. Well, ironically, I have, I have two tone arms in house now with Colin. That would take these apart. Okay. Then you might try it to de try something. You have, have to move fast and get everyone, right? but I would do that. Ah, I will do that. You can get it in a second. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Sure. Oh, really? You can yeah. do it here? Yeah. Oh, I'll take it. I'll yeah. do it. No, good. I should do it. Yeah. Try it down. This is, this, is, this is the ST7, so it's a moving coil. How much gain does it have? How many? How many? It's 
32 dBs. Oh, okay. Remember. Oh, that's that's high. Yeah, I can I can check it out. But okay. Uh, you know these numbers. I don't always remember. Right. Let, of course let's check not. It out. But, but but anyhow. Because you're elderly now. So yeah. Thank you, Michael. You're welcome. Thank but you. I'm always older than everybody. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this ST7 is how how much is that? That is for 600, 600, euros. 600 right. euros, yeah. And uh, I, in fact, it was designed so it could fit nicely to the Quintet series, which is our budget moving coil series. Right. So, so the pricing should be in that range. But it also fits very nicely to the SPUs. Okay. So uh, there's been a lot of interest for that already. So uh, hopefully, yeah, it, 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 you could make a very nice combination of maybe SPU number one and this ST7 and get and you're really in music around a thousand euro you're in you yeah, got yeah, it yeah. yeah okay and this is the Verto is that new too Verto is not new no the Verto we have had for uh, well um, six eight years see how on top of this business yeah, I am yeah, okay yeah, so. it happens and then and I won't edit that out I'll leave it in there I don't mind humiliating myself <laughs> and then you have your ST80 SE which is then our top model at the moment which is a very nice transformer and it runs very well. Yeah. Of course, with all our MCs, but the price suggests that, well, use it for the cadences in order to have right. something reasonable balance in the budget. It's always good to have a balance. Right. Are these made in-house? Do you make these? No, these are made in Japan by our Japanese uh, company out there. Right. So, and, but, but the Virtu is, is, is made in-house in, in Denmark and the other two are made in-house in Japan. To your specs? Yes, so that's of course. All, that's yeah, all yeah. that matters? Sure, sure. So to my specs and uh, after listening to them and everything, so, so of course, right. everything goes through our approval here in Denmark. Okay, so are we good now? Is that it? That's yes, it. thank you.